just woke up. I need to open the blinds. More lighting. Um, apologies for the background noise. I just started the washing machine. It's a Sunday. I am actually going to join church online. Um, I just just look at this shop. <laughs> I just really want to show you guys my plant, and by now you should know that these plants excite me. There's a new one coming out. This one, I think, came out two weeks ago. It has even turned into darker green now. Um, when it comes out, it, it, it comes out light, just like this one. And the 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 more inside that are coming out nicely nicely so in love just look at that just look at that i quickly need to um, give my plants water i do this every morning and yeah they're doing so great i just need to go check the ones outside this is the only one that's in the house at the moment i just need to go give um water to the ones outside as well and I use a jar, normal jug, to give them um, water, but I do need to buy something very cute um, to use when I am actually watering my plants. But welcome to a new vlog if you're new here. Thank you so much for joining. To my returning subscribers, welcome back. Um, let's just go with the day. Let's not say I'm going to do this, that, 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 and then certain things don't happen or I put pressure on myself. Let's just take this day as it goes, right? <clears throat> Friday last week I went to the mall. Um, I've been thinking of getting myself a black blazer, which is something that is very important to have because it goes with most colors and now that we are slowly approaching winter we go to the we will be going to the office twice a week so i thought okay let me just get a blazer that i can just maybe like wear something underneath and wear the blazer on top and it had to be an oversized blazer i do enjoy them so much and i think when it comes to blazers it's a very like seasonal thing where there's a there there are years where I would go through I would prefer like a tight blazers or, and then there's years where I would prefer oversized blazers and that's one of the reasons it is very difficult for me to hand over my blazers because I know that I might not be liking this blazer now but I know maybe in the next year I will want to wear this blazer again and I just don't want to go through the it's not an, i just don't want to be at the shops again buying something that i had so it's just better to keep them and plus i'm not a person that has a lot of blazers i probably just have three with this one three oversized blazers and then i can't count because i haven't worn the other ones so i just want to show you i went to Fushini and i got this blazer it is in a size medium it sits perfectly well um i think the design of it is an, an oversized because a medium that's like my normal size and the normal price was 7.99 but it wasn't special i paid 4.99 so I, instead of 800 rand there was a 300 rand discount. Let me just do this for better lighting. Yeah. Yeah, so I bought this blazer. I don't know if I'll be able to show you how it sits on me with the camera facing this way. I was fitting it then then I ooh, a bra showing. No. I don't think you guys are gonna have a good but you will see it when I wear it tomorrow I'm actually going to the office I'm trying my best I'm trying my best to make sure that I tap 
tell this going to the office um, when the week is beginning and it worked perfectly well last week because it didn't even feel like I was at the office on Monday. Then after that went to Woolies. Uh, I've been thinking of getting myself a loafer. I've been enjoying that kind of style. Um, and I do think that that is something that that's a style that I could be comfortable in or I like I really do like when I see ladies wearing loafers even guys I, 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 I also do like watching guys wearing these shoes so yes on Friday during the day when I went to the mall just to get a few things for the house, I saw the shoe at Woolies. And then later that day, since I was at the mall to go get the blazer, then I decided to get the shoe. This is the shoe. I went for black. I, I also did like the brown, but as a first shoe, it's just safer to go for a color that will go with everything that you would prefer to wear. So this is the shoe. Um, the issue is that when I was at the shop, I fitted the right size and then I don't know, I don't know what happened. I really don't know because when I got home, when I was putting, the, like fitting the shoe again, I just didn't understand why it's so tight because it was very comfortable at the shop and only to realize I ended up taking one size down. So I need to return the shoe. Um, today I'm gonna do that. I need to return the shoe and get and get the right size. This was the price of the shoe. There was no discount on this one, but it's in this Fushini package because I am already taking it back. And that's all that I wanted to show you. But now let's just quickly talk about this. Let's just quickly talk about. coconut water we were actually trying this water we were trying it but tell me people that let me just if you are a person that drinks coconut water please come forward I want you in the front in the front line please stand straight look at me and tell me what are you enjoying here guys um please tell me what is nice here i do i do understand that we we have different palette um preferences or tastes but i i truly do think and believe that there's probably 10 percent of our population that prefers this if and I don't think that from that 10%, um, there are people in South Africa. It's probably people in the islands, I think. I do think so. Because you know when I tasted it, I was trying to make sense of the taste. But... Like, I, 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 it feels like it's milk mixed with drink, but like not acid mixed with drink. I, I can taste milk, but at the same time, the, uh, there's a flavor. Yo, uh -uh. <laughs> I just don't understand. Or maybe it's one of those things that has an acquired taste over time you will get to enjoy it and it just got me thinking of people that would go on these nice cute trips in islands and they would be drinking coconut water from the coconut they do seem like they are enjoying it and I would trust and believe that they are really enjoying it unless um, there's the taste is different because um, I do know that 
when you're drinking from the coconut, the fruit itself, it, it, it's more like very organic. But when you are drinking it from um, this, like something that's been processed, packaged, there were added um, things to preserve, to preserve it, then it might, there are chances that the taste could be different. And this, in this case, that might be the case. I, I don't know. I'm just not enjoying it. And it's full. It's full. And trust me, if I can take this to my mom, chances are she's one of those people, 10% population. She might drink this. I want to take it to her because I do know that um, there's good benefits. My phone is that side. I was actually going to Google the benefits of like coconut water benefits. I was going to Google that and just understand how coconut water are sourced and produced in the Ben Tre province in Vietnam, also known as land of the coconut. Fruits are harvested and picked at their peak, which gives the coconut water its delicious crisp taste. What crisp taste are you talking about? What crisp taste? Or oh, I'm the problem. I am the problem. No, I think I'm the problem. Um, clearly, if shops are constant, consistently selling, coconut water then clearly I'm the problem because I guess that these are selling or maybe other people are like me they buy to try and they never go back because I'm never gonna go back no and this has actually ruined everything because now I will never even drink coconut water even if I would go somewhere. Even if I would go to Vietnam that they mention in here.
welcome to a new day i actually need to make sure if i do have time today to do my nails and i just came back from a school drop off and i don't know what's happening my son has been coming home with his yogurt and i guess i just need to stop a bit because i used to pack two and he would eat both now i noticed that he would come home with them and i started putting in one and he would eat but lately he's just coming home with that too um it's a tuesday i'm planning to make juice today and i also need to go work at my friend's place um so i need to make sure that before i leave this place is clean i woke up today and i had to be on a walk work call i think past seven which almost made me late or delayed me i was on a call past seven and now on my way back i was on another call i just need to start working now it's 10 past eight i need to start working now just to get a few things like people i need to call to confirm certain things now in the morning and also i will before i work before i do anything i just quickly last night i actually cleaned my kitchen um let me see what happens if I put this camera here. See the mess on the background. So last night I cleaned my kitchen and I just left the pots here because I want to actually clean. That's where I keep my pots. So I want to clean that cupboard. Oh, my arm is tired. Um, let me just quickly show you how the kitchen looks. Um, oh, and yesterday I cleaned my stove with you guys and uh, you saw it's spotless. That product, I know Take A Lot sells it, uh, Macro does, but I bought it at Giant. It's, it's very cheap there. Uh, macro is also not too bad though. Um, and these are the pots. I actually want to put these with my pots, so I have all of these here so that I can just empty in the shelf. Let me just. So I have two like pods organizer, organizers. That's why. So they. So I want to take everything out and just wipe the cupboard and place everything nicely. I think I'll also just end up putting my roast roasting trays in there at the back because I hardly use them and yeah the the shelves i'm i'm confused let's not, let's not even talk about
does not make sense. Uh, but I'm actually wearing this cap so that I can cover the mess happening underneath. So I just, I'm going to close off this vlog. But before I close it, I actually want to show you the machine that, like the nail machine my mom bought for me. Um, yeah. So I have been having, or I have been using the nail machine I was using it's just that it's in the bedroom I just don't want to go and fetch it but I had this small UV LED light that a friend of mine bought for me as a birthday gift from Chinatown I think it was in 20 it was in 2020 um, so I've used it 2021 22 23 up until beginning of this year and I it took me like probably two times of the nails not dying to actually realize that maybe its life has come to an end then my mom decided to spoil me with a new one because i also do now and then when he when she comes to visit me i would just do like a, a food spa pamper her and clean her toenails and put on a nail color so when she heard that my machine is not working, then she just decided to surprise me one day we were out and then she was like, okay, please drive past Chinatown. We got there, she bought me this machine, which, oh, so, so, so grateful. Now they have different um, types of these machines at the Chinatown I went down to Sable Square in Cape Town. So they do have I actually saw the one I have, I think they were selling it for $150. But this one that I bought, the original price is $350, but I think that, that I don't think, but they had a special that time. I paid $270 for this machine, which is very good, very strong, and this is and actually also big. This is the machine. The This is a touch, so I'm saying it's a touch because the one I had, it was actually buttons so this one you just immediately when you touch it um, responds and it has 10 seconds 30 and 60 and then this one just counts from one these ones they count down from 30 60 30 10 but this one doesn't count down it starts from one it's a very strong machine it's actually very spacious and open inside uh, when i put my hand I love it so 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 much. I've actually used it um, twice, twice now. Yeah, this is actually the second time. Um, the only thing I don't like that maybe when you are buying this, um, you need to look out for, especially considering us in South Africa with load shedding, is my previous machine. Um, it had a USB cable, which I would take like any random um what do you call this plug is that what you call it but you know those i just don't know the name but i could still use it by plugging it on a plug but with this one it has this kind of plug which requires electricity meaning that i cannot make use of this machine when there's load shedding unless i probably have like a backup power but with that one i could because it had a usb cable which i could just insert on my laptop so that it could switch on and start working uh, while there's load shedding so i think that's the only um, downfall with this machine but in terms of having to compare the two I would really be unfair if I would do that because this one's more powerful than that one but and also that one has really lasted me for like a good three years so which I really didn't expect uh, thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe I think in my I'm actually closing this vlog I have another vlog after this one where I actually did these nails so um, on that one I'm actually sharing the products that I use for my nails so please do look out for a vlog that will be after this one where I actually get to do these nails 
um, and then I share the steps and the products that I use um, in achieving these nails. So thank you so, so, so much for staying tuned. I will see you in the next vlog. Please, please subscribe, subscribe and leave a comment and a like. Thank you so much. I will see you guys. Bye.